Graham Carmel. Well, hello. hello, how are you? Hey. Shahid, Shahid, how are you? I'm good, 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 and you, yeah? Um, I'd just like to say, in our striving to give you the best MMA South African content possible, we would like to go to the root. The root of the fight matchmaker that is Graham Carmel himself. Um, we would like to develop questions, fights, dream fights that we'd like. Um, dream cards. Dream cards. Um, certain title fights that we'd love to see happen. Um, certain fighters that we'd love to see maybe even signed by the EFC. So in any comments, in any... Um, remember to like, comment and subscribe first of all. But second... If you've got any fights that you'd love to see happen, if you've got any fighters that you'd maybe like to see in the EFC, um, we would love to have a conversation with Graham himself and chat with him about the future of what is happening in the EFC and to see these fighters do the best for SA MMA. With that said, let's look at the fights we want to see happen. I think we are sitting on almost a year since the last heavyweight title fight. Triple H Power defeated Van Damme Mbui, one of my favorite yeah, fighters. Van Damme Mbui. There's, there's history there, man. A lot from of bad a, blood. From a bouncer to a... a yeah, the bad blood. Yeah, I wasn't even thinking... I was thinking of Van Damme's history. And you're talking about the history of the fighters. Yes, there is, there is some bad blood there. <laughs> yes, there is some bad blood. And... Um, we have seen a little bit of a stagnance in the big man division and we'd love to see some big men throw down because they always come with the power. They always come with something exciting. We'd, uh, we'd love to see some movement in the division since some people are moving out into the big promotions like the Bellators and the, the UFCs and things like that. And we'd love to see our feeder become stronger in our big men. Because these are the guys that actually have an awesome opportunity to go internationally because there is a gap in the heavyweight situation and that we can fill from our South African point of view. I agree completely. Um, I, I think with that said, Jikasa is the champion and he is a very skilled heavyweight. If you look at him move, he moves like a light heavyweight. Yes. So he's almost like a Yuri. No, not Yuri. There's another fighter who's also got um, Johnny Walker. Yes, Johnny he fights more like a middleweight, but he's a light heavyweight. Yes. So, wait, Johnny Walker is a light heavyweight? Light, light heavyweight, <laughs> no, you're completely right. But of all the fighters, I, I think the question is who would be able to actually go up against him? Who has the record? Who has the same skill level? I mean, he is at least 8-4 and four as the champion. There's no one else who's as experienced as him. What fight, like who could possibly come down and fight him? Would it be one of the current EFC fighters or someone from outside of the promotion? Um, I am looking for some new blood, unfortunately. The, the heavyweight division, I think, has seen some stagnance because of our aging population within the heavyweight division. Um, Jean Besetenhout is a big heavyweight. He's a legend. Um is it time for him to come up and fight for a title? He had a, a very cool win. Um, but there against are... Against Boyka. Uh, against Boyka. And, and that was supposed to be a walkover for Boyka. So we've got questions and fighters, but we've got an aging group of fighters. And I'd love to see us bring in some new people, some new uh, fighters that can breathe that excitement into these divisions that are aging out, unfortunately. Agreed. But I guess um, and, and Elvis, the Bomber Moyo, I don't think he fights anymore. I think he might have retired recently. But he's the only one I've seen that actually has a record that might come close to Triple H Powers who might have a cause or a case to say, and they haven't fought before, to say, listen, I'm standing up. I want to get this fight. I need a title shot. But uh, short of that... Yeah, I agree with you. Completely stagnant, maybe. Mm. Let's bring someone else in. Let's find someone else who's looking for a, a, a title shot from another promotion who might be a champion there, uh, looking to be a double multi-champion, similar to Alice Adeline, yeah. who's the current strawweight champion. She fought, I think, in March. Yes. And she quite viciously brutalized G.I. Jess Monami. It, it, was, it was a vicious morning. Hey. But I'm looking happens, forward to guys. seeing her coming back and fighting because I know that now she's, I think, almost triple champion. Uh, in multiple organizations, multiple Jeez. promotions. 
But that's how you do it. That's how you bolster yourself into the UFC. That's how you bolster yourself into these international organizations and promotions. And I think as long as we keep our promotion as healthy as possible on our soil, we can have a good feeder into the international promotions and become a name that is synonymous with talent and prospects across the world. And I mean, there are people, Drikus is bringing the light here and we need to keep it here with these amazing fighters. I mean, we've got guys that unfortunately some people will never see fight like Boyd Allen. Boyd Allen was probably one of the most vicious welterweights on the South African ground. He goes for the blood, he goes for the violent finishes. And unfortunately, the South African landscape never got to appreciate somebody like that. He is now um, the co-owner of um, co-owner of Apex Gym, pushing out some incredible pedigree of fighters. And that's what I think we need to go to these gyms, discuss with these guys and see who are the prospects they want to talk about. And looking at the vacant titles in the female um, straw in the Bantam, Bantam and, and the flyweight. flyweight divisions, seeing those vacant titles, seeing which women are, are eager to step up and fill those gaps so that we can produce and show a full house of cards out to the world. I agree completely. I mean, we have the previous women's champion, uh, flyweight Manon Firo, fighting Rose Namajunas in the UFC. So there's definitely a pedigree that's in the EFC in terms of very specifically in this instance, the women's division as well, yes. where we've got two champions who are not even from, who are not local fighters, who've come in, who've captured the titles, who've gone out and done more, captured more titles. So it's definitely a place where we want to see more of these fights. We want to definitely then get our fighters up to the same level such that they can be competing at that top level with these international fighters who are coming in. So yes. I think definitely in the women's uh, bantam and flyweight, there's action, there's stuff happening at the bottom, but we need a title fight. We need champions mm. in each of those weight classes because why are they vacant? They shouldn't be vacant. Let's, exactly. let's, let's get those fights. Yes, and we need to speak about these fighters. We need to promote them. We need to show our love, guys, because that's the only way the sport will become something. That's the only way these promotions will become something that we can rival the rest of the world. And we have seen it. We have seen our champions and our fighters go on and do amazing things. Drickus is just one of them. We've got Cameron. We've got guys fighting in Bellator. We've got guys fighting in one championship. We've got guys fighting in the PFL. We've got amazing men and women doing amazing things. And we need to celebrate them. We need to know who are the top prospects and who are these guys that are coming for the wins and coming to celebrate South African MMA. There's a new prospect, Raymond Akut, fighting in versus. He's the champion, a lightweight champion or featherweight champion at the moment and trying to get into the EFC. I'd love to know why he's not fighting yet. They're, 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 these are the questions we need to ask Graham and I would love to get his answers. And because the guy is such an epic MMA fan, it would just be wonderful to sit colloquially with, colloquially with him and have a discussion as fans of MMA. I agree completely. And honestly, after the 106 card, I'm so happy. <laughs> like, once again, I'm well so done. happy. That card well done, was Graham. exciting all the way from the prelims up to the main card and mm. they all delivered fantastic 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 you got fighters who were eager fighters who were hungry fighters who were skilled and everyone brought it to the table like you said as much as Mishka Lobsher lost on uh, points mm. she brought it she was there for the entire fight she took every shot and she gave what she could every single chance she did so yes please more of that more of that and more titles less titles vacant let's get those ti those vacant titles filled yes and Please, guys, like, subscribe, share, because you are the people that give these guys the strength to go out and do what they do. By shouting for them, by promoting them, and by enjoying what they do is how they fight and are able to kick them in the head!